Um, Grant Cardone was on your podcast. And uh, the two of you kind of went at it at one point. Right. What do you think happened in that conversation that went wrong? Since our last interview, I, I did a little bit of research. And I found that you did an interview with Jordan Belfort. AKA yeah, yeah. The, the Wolf of Wall Street. And this inter- turned into the equivalent of like a rap beef <laughs> with finance guys afterwards. Is that, is that a fair <laughs> assessment of what happened? Well, he's not a finance guy. Well, I mean, a financial he, guy. He's not a financial guy. He's a he fucking criminal. Be. He's a okay. convicted criminal that didn't pay back the people he ripped off. And he's a fucking rat. On top of being a criminal, he's a rat. Turned on his own people to reduce his, uh, his time. So he's a criminal, ripped off a bunch of people, admits that he ripped off a bunch of people, never paid the people back, and ratted and ratted out his boys. You know, Grant Cardone was very nice to come on my podcast. And, and I, I, I think what happened was, I don't, I don't think Grant is used to people disagreeing with him. Because he says some stuff. He said some stuff that was just weird. Didn't make any sense. And everyone that saw the podcast said, wow, what's what, what's going on with this guy? Like, he doesn't know the most basic things about sales. In reality, you know, I don't know how much of that was Grant just trying to be argumentative with me. And he came off looking very foolish. And it was very damaging to his business at that time. But I, I don't, I have nothing against Grant Cardone. I think he's probably a very nice guy and, you know, he's successful and I wish him well. He just, I think he made a fundamental error and I'm sure he's realized that and he's learned from that is that he went in, I wasn't trying to argue with him. I was trying to have a legitimately great conversation about sales and business with another, you know, fellow sales trainer and businessman. I think he just, I don't know, he's just, something was going on in his head that you know, if I said black, he said white. The problem was, is I was just speaking truth and asking very simple questions and it, and he got very frustrated and flustered. And then he challenged me to a cage match, which was kind of ridiculous. So, you know, it just, it flew off the handles. It was very bad for him, very good for me, but I don't, I don't think that describes who Grant Cardone is as a person. I think he's, you know, he's a, he's a probably a good guy. And we saw each other recently, we hugged each other. It's like, there's no animosity of any, of any sort. Yeah. I mean, I've interviewed him a few times. Uh, I definitely learned a lot on the real estate side because I've never really been a real estate guy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I saw the interview and it seemed like the two of you just were not really clicking with each other. <laughs> well, I mean, you could just to be honest with you, just, he, he was being, you know, he came off very badly on that. You know, it was not good for him because he was just, you know, and he was just not saying things that made sense from a sales context. You know, whether or not he really feels that way and just was, was just trying to be argumentative, I don't really know. <laughs>